I'm gonna say hi. So, some different. We are right outside the Lego store. This is a brand new store opening up in Westfield, Montgomery Mall. Um, we're gonna check it out. Hopefully, we don't. Uh, hopefully, we won't spend too much money. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say hi. Yeah, so, um, like I said, this store just opened up, Bethesda, Maryland. Uh, we live in Silver Spring, which is about 20, 22 minutes away from this particular store. Um, well, it's pretty cool, I guess, but what's interesting is that this, this particular mall is maybe... 10 minutes from uh, Tyson's Corner, and they have a huge Lego store there. So I just find it interesting that um, they chose to open up a store there. Pretty cool. So the main reason why I went was to get this large base plate. And my goal is to put the Ferris wheel on its own base plate, and then that way I can... Um, transport it so I don't want it to stay there because when people go in and out of the room they may knock it over or do whatever I don't want to have to keep rebuilding this thing so I want to want to be done um, let's see, you want to put your so the goal when I went there was to only spend 50 bucks that was my goal and this to you can see that 4977 the boy is nice you hear me hey. I may actually do this I never do the survey we'll see um so we got a duplo This isn't his first Duplo, but maybe because it's a car, he will actually um, play with it. So we're going to pause and we're going to put this together. So what do you think of that? Huh? That took like two seconds to put together. Isn't that awesome? Huh? Yeah, I don't know who that is. I'm not going to answer that. Alright, up next is another Ferrari F40. This time I will do the up, the other build, which it has a different front end and um, just a red plate for the wing. That you can see right there. So we'll do that. No, turbo. And then uh, we got a couple of these uh, uh, Harry Potters. Yeah. Let's open these up and see what we got. Alright, so we got these two characters. Um, Eden is a, um, I know. Yeah, she's a huge Harry Potter fan, but uh, these names, I don't know. I think this may be Hermione. I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know who these people are. I think this is one of the professors. So anyway. Watch uh, Levi destroy his uh, new toy here. So. Uh-oh, that's the mama. Well, if she wanted to talk to me, she would have called myself. No. Huh? No. What? Oh, God. Just going to put this together. No. On the floor. What? <laughs> Which pretty much all the Lego instructions tell you not to do. But I like to be on the floor here. Eden is our camera woman. She is uh, recording. All I do this because I can't. I can't remember where I put my stand. So um, 
I'm just gonna be rambling here. Oh, and I just asked Eden about that professor and she has no clue the professor's, professor's name. Well, I know she's a Hufflepuff and she's the head of the Hufflepuff house. I yeah, do remember Hufflepuff. that. That's that's yeah. embarrassing. I just said how, how much of a fan you were and you knew everything. It's embarrassing. Oh, her name's Professor Sprout. Yeah. yeah. Her name's Professor Sprout. I thought those little things that scream, I thought those were the sprouts. What are those called? Uh, those are called mandrakes. Mandrakes. Yep. All right. So my love for Lego. Um, well, how I got into it, most people call like coming out of your dark ages. So in 1999, our second son was born in June of that month. And um, there was a, we, I was stationed in Darmstadt, Germany. And there was a store there called Vertkopf. And Vertkopf was pretty much, um, it was pretty much Walmart. So much so that Walmart eventually bought them. Yeah, let's play down here. Let's do that. No, no, no slamming, okay? Are we back? Yes. All right, what was I talking about? Darmstadt, Germany. So, brand new baby. Bishop, the oldest, was a year old. So I had two kids. And I was a private first class with zero money. And I was supposed to go to the store to get like formula, pampers, whatever. And I usually go through the toy aisle just to see what's new. And I see this display that had Darth Vader in Lego form. And I went crazy, went nuts and bought everything. Had no, <laughs> had no money to buy. Uh, anything but, but diapers, but I bought the whole, I mean, everything. I bought, the, it came, uh, the first set was like a Y-wing, um, and tie, tie interceptor, the tie, um, I bought it, I bought it all. And, um, I collected Lego pretty much ever since then. Uh, there was a time when... I didn't, I wasn't too into um, Lego Star Wars anymore because I thought I, it, it, it got to the point where, um, you know, how many X-Wings can you get? How many um, okay. TIE Fighters can you get? Okay. Huh? You broke it? Let's put it back together. Bam. Let's put that, you want, you want this on? There we go. And so I moved away from that. I found um, Hero Clicks. Hero Clicks were a brand of it's like a, a game, but they had these little figures, uh, miniatures. And you could get DC, Marvel. I got that whole line. I got everything. Got everything up until. They made a uh, Galactus. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was like a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. The thing was like, I don't know, $400 on eBay. I didn't have the money for that, but I bought that as well. Um, actually, I got the one that was the next year too, it was uh, Dark Phoenix. Um, and then once Lego came out with uh, the superhero line, that's when I really got back into it. As far as the city and the modular series, um, we moved up here in 2013 or 2013. 2013, so we're staying with uh, Aunt Kelly and then uh, 
well, let's just say I Kelly. And um, my nephew, her son Malachi, was like, uh, oh, you know, so she lives in Bowie, Maryland, and right up the road in Annapolis, Annapolis Mall, they have a Lego store. So I went in there and I got the uh, fire brigade. Fire brigade in 2013 was about to be discontinued. That was the first modular that I bought. Uh, then uh, at that point, that's when I started to uh, source the pieces for the uh, cafe corner and the uh, green grocer. And I eventually had enough to uh, enough pieces to build that. Um, then I bought the Grand Emporium and the pet shop. I bought a couple pet shops. Uh oh. Okay, so that's the finished product. That actually looks pretty good. It's just the alternate build. Put different rims on it this time. But I like the back. The back reminds me of um, the old Sega game, Outrun. So, uh, thanks for sticking around this long. Please uh, like, share, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.